but they still found time to tune in, you know. Ready came for life. Ready came for life. Okay, I think I'm I, I think know. I'm being too close. Our producers, our engineers on a date. So. <laughs> you got the sound too, ain't you? Oh. Ooh. 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 Yeah, he here. All right. You on the road? He took his show on the road. Oh, oh I'm not mad at that. Valentine's oh, Day. Oh, like, like Antonio. That's what he said. Antonio Brown said he was taking his, his girl away. Oh, That's too what he said. He wouldn't say where. Oh. But just FYI, it's the baby mom. Stay back together. But anyway. Well, happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Thank you. I mean, I guess you were just like not in the, the spirit with the black. I'll, I'll Is it a funeral? I have a like, 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 R.I.P. Valentine's Day. Nika, we got on the same code. I know. I know. Like, hey, I can't do my nails. Get right? close. Get close. Get close. Get close. But it's close enough. No. Stop. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to say. No, it ain't. Yes, it ain't. It's the light. It's the light. It's very similar. Bye. Very similar. Bye. Bye. I'm not going to like come with pink or I was going to do pink, red, or white. I was going to do that because I was in a good mood. Today was a good day. Like, But it was all about, you know, Mac and Mika Lot. No, no, no. It was all about Mac and Mika Lot and loving all my kids. I did, um, I was happy I did get invited. Well, it was weird because it's somebody that I didn't, they're cool, but I didn't know that they was even like, checking for me like that and they want to take me out tonight I was like dude I work did you know that or you just trying to like get me you know trying to like say something and then knowing I had to work why didn't you go like a little early but that's what happened so well then they were like what about Thursday I was like Thursday is for my kids like I always do something with my kids um before <laughs> Valentine's Day or whatever to bring it in uh, but today I, I would never have time because I always do stuff true. to um and then my daughter was sick too so so good tomorrow okay. That's I, no, but this is, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> so I was like, nah, they ain't going to think I'm a uh -huh. And you know what I mean? But then I also was thinking, like, I really, I don't even want to say what I'm. You can't say, <laughs> I don't want to say. No, no, because I was like, saying. damn, are they tuned in? I don't, I I guess maybe, like, when you, if you really feel like somebody, you will make a way. Maybe I just wasn't into the, as, like, that. Well, Jenny's just showing this. Welcome James, I know we miss you, James. James is on here live. Tell him I'm taking over for today. Yes, Anika is taking over. She's helping us. Giving us a countdown today. I'm a substitute teacher. <laughs> but I mean, I, I realized then that you really make a make a way for if you really, really feel like somebody. Because I was yeah, like, yeah, this was somebody. Yeah, I was like, oh, okay. I was like, but I never looked at them like that. But sidebar, none of the ones that be checking for me every day say Happy Valentine's Day. So. I'm not answering no more. I'll tell you that. Guess what? You know who Barbara Shirley? Barbara Shirley. <laughs> In no situation. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yo, I, I promise you, every one of them is on Do Not Disturb. I ain't going to block them, but Do Not Disturb. I'm not answering no mas. Damn. No mas. If they hit you tomorrow, they're going to answer. I'm yeah. definitely not answering. But they can hit me next week, and I'm not answering. I'm not like, I'm good. I'm good. You hit me every day. And then today, go down. Crickets. <laughs> hey, what's up? Oh, speaking of this guy, so an yeah, audience right. member just walked in. Uh -huh. And me and yeah. Grace, our friend, we were out one day and he's like, Oh, y'all out, y'all should go check out this spot. It's lit. It's a lit lit. You know, I'm like, alright, cool, I got my cousin. I'm like, let's go. Like my homeboy said it's lit and he be lit, so it gotta be lit. We go there, it's a fucking hospice. It's a retirement what? home. What? This is where people go to die. It was like nothing what? but people my parents ate. They were seventies in that bitch. Okay? I was Playing so bingo. Yo, that's all they needed was the bingo next. This boy, I yo, we called him from the car. I said, well, where was it so I know not to go? Huh? It was Wednesday. No, no, it was a, it was a jazz club and I was like he was like yeah. it's young people out there and lots of homeless. He said he right. went, but I guess we he told us to go on a day he never went. And he had gone on the weekend. To go on the date, never but he told us like it'd be lit because they got this and that. We got there first of all. There was those singers like it's supposed to have like um, <laughs> like R and B singers. No, it's supposed yeah. to have like R and B singers. Like and get to sing with the band, right? There was nobody. It was a DJ, and the DJ was like my father's age too. And I was like, I talked to my waiter. I said, Maurice, you gonna do me like this, like for real? So then we were leaving, and I yo we called him directly. I said, you tried me, man. How you gonna send me there like that? This is what you think of me? You sent me to the hospice. <laughs> <laughs> like, come on, you know I'm trying to get my Valentine's Day together, and it was just like it was just a catastrophe. I, I found a couple of daddies. I didn't want them because I ain't into shit.
shit like that. I'm sorry. You were trying to roll them around. <laughs> at all. Yeah, at all. No. But it really made me think, like, damn, maybe I am dating too young. Because if he thought that I'd be into these old ass motherfuckers, then there's a real problem. Date up. Damn. <laughs> well, how far up? Yeah, because. How far? That's a good question. How far up would y'all date? I can even bring these guys home to my parents. Because they'd be looking at them like. No, that's a good question. How far up or down with? Like, well, I'm not dating up like that. Like honestly, because my brother is older than me, up. so I only date people like younger than my brother. My brother is um, 44, so you gotta be under that. Okay. But you gotta be a fly under 44. Like let's just say that. Why? Why, why was that your limit? <laughs> because it, just growing up, I always felt like that was just. Too old, like I couldn't take. Like I've always been like that in high school, college. Like I never wanted to go. You know, a high school age is a big difference. Brother. Like if you're nine and somebody's twelve, like that's a big thing. Then. Well, I mean, I was. <laughs> well, like, once you know, like, like, okay, so when like my brother was nineteen and I was fifteen, I was like. I'm not dating anybody like older than me. Older than him, right? Yeah, but like once you get a certain age, when like once you're 21 still, I mean, and they're 25, it's not really much of a difference. At 21, I, I, was, like when you're I was married, though, so I wasn't thinking about all that anymore. That's true. So I think I just kept those same. How old you got married? I was, uh, I actually was 23 when I got married, but we were together uh, for like since 18 before that. But. Damn. <laughs> I know, I say that now too. Those are the experimental years. <laughs> you was already married. <laughs> Listen, I lived, I lived life, let's just say that. Okay. I definitely lived life. I always used to say to him, like, all the shit you're doing now, I've been there. Like, but I'm from a different, I grew up different from him. So I did, you know, I just grew up a little different from him. So when I always used to tell him, like, you know, and just when you're in the sports, you guys are really focused. You guys are back and forth, and I feel like you're almost delayed in a little bit. Girl. Shit, not me, because when I'm off, I'm off. <laughs> Come back and remind me. To, give me, let me know what two weeks before I gotta go, and I get back, get back right. You got disconnect, shit. But I'm talking about back in high school, some of AAU days. I went all like. Oh, okay. Live by that, by like you oh, did nah, other sports was, too. Oh, yeah, yeah, football, yeah, track, yeah, like other sports. So I'm like, oh, nah, that he was like super but I always made time for myself. How was your week? My week was pretty good. I finally got back on my full schedule of everything. Uh, I played tennis way too much this week. About Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday. So four days out this week since Monday. And that's why my back is probably hurting and my legs are killing me. But um, I'm getting a, uh, something that I'm treating it called cupping. Oh, I know cupping. Yeah, so I'm getting it done on Sunday. That's okay. Because I need it. Because <laughs> I'm hurting. Yeah, I've seen people's okay. back like yeah. bruised up, but I well, guess you know it makes is. you feel about the toy. We have to do the cryotherapy though. <laughs> yeah, let's do Randy it. set it up for me. I see. Um, is it just for you? Like we should. No, I, 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 hit about him about about I hit him up. I said, I seen him open this page. I was like, I need to try that. I said, How long are you so, looking for? He said, okay. Ten minutes. Yeah, it, it. You think it's nothing, okay? I, I mean, I've seen it. It looks crazy, and I'm, um, you know. I mean, I used to get an ice cold, but it is really cold, it's, though. Yeah, it's cold, and you have nothing on except, like, covering your ligaments, yeah. and your ears, and your gloves, the gloves, I mean, and your hand socks. Oh, I'm definitely down with it. Like, I want to go and talk about it on the show. Definitely. We can bring, like, a camera. We could. And we can play the footage, yeah, that would be dope. Yeah, that would be dope. Let's do it. We need, to, these, we need to figure out how to work those. Yeah. James, we got to figure out how to work those TVs when we come back. <laughs> <laughs> But so, yeah, so you did the, you're gonna do the cupping and all that. Yeah, I have to. I want the bodies. He's like, I have to. I ain't really did much for some reason, like consistently, like yeah. in January yeah. and in February I was traveling around a lot too. So now I'm like trying to get back into the fucking working out and working real hard and my body was like oh on Monday and then Tuesday felt great and I was like <laughs> killing it and then Wednesday yeah. I was like nigga. You know yeah. what again? <laughs> We back at this. Well, like, I gotta learn how to do like some days of recovery too, though. But I just had to get that out of my system, like to just go hard, and I'm gonna go hard again next week, and just do it. You know, so, but I gotta start adding recovery in that shit too. My mom about to be hurt. Your body was tired. Hell yeah! And the people, you know, playing. I play tennis. Playing tennis, people try to be so competitive against me. Especially against you. And I hate losing, so therefore it's like yes. I have to raise up my level too. <laughs> and I'll be struggling. <laughs> So did you get a chance to watch any good TV? Like, did you catch the power finale? Nope. 
What? I'm still on season five. Bye. Oh my God. Did anybody else in here catch it? Just me? Oh my God. What's wrong with y'all? No power? Well, I caught it. And, you know, I had to watch it twice to actually enjoy it. Because, I mean, the first time was kind of like. You don't have that much time. But I, when I watched it the second time, and I really got to look at it, it was a little better. Uh -huh. Yes, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't crazy. And another thing. I've never been the power. What? I watched it a little bit, but I, I never followed it like that. Uh, it's like it's like watching Wu Tang. It's actually both of them are great. Oh my god! I started that one. I ain't start that one. You know, you're not a movie TV guy. It has to be a good movie, and I watch it. Yeah. But you have to like. I don't like series started. and shit, and I gotta keep going back and like just play the shit. That, 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 <laughs> and let me just watch I it all the time. Like, 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 keep yeah. tuning back in. I might have something to do next week. I ain't got time. And you don't watch it next week. You just watch it on demand whenever you're available. Um, That's what I do. I don't watch. And it. then I ain't got time to be watching a six-hour thing of a whole bunch of. But it's like since you missed it, especially it would be several hours. Yeah, so. Right. You know when I used to watch the I only used to watch um series on my flights. So like this year, last year, Bob. Well, like um, no, on my on the laptop or the iPad. I'm gonna tell you what I've been watching now. I downloaded Zoo, so I was watching. I had watched Black China's like China? thing. Yeah, that I was heard that actually good. It was okay. My whole thing went through. No, no, it went through. It finished. Yeah, it's actually. Yeah, I watched it too. It's yeah. actually good. It makes sense. I liked it. Um. I, I haven't finished it, it though. I, I liked it at first, but then I don't know what episode you want, but then I stopped liking it. Like six or seven. Okay, I stopped liking it at five. Oh, okay. Because I almost felt like, is she acting? Only because I felt like, when I say acting, meaning trying to make her be the victim to everybody else, mm -hmm. like, she was really fucking crazy. I like her. With Cabaret, and I ended up starting with China. Why watched Jocelyn. Did you catch up with Jocelyn at all? I don't know what's going on with this show. Well, I don't watch it at all. Like, I haven't watched the, it. I'm just saying, I don't know what the... Like with Black Chinese, I get it. That show, I don't understand. Like, I think it was just. I don't understand what's going on. I don't know either. I didn't watch it at all, so I don't even know. I was, I was. You were watching. You still gonna be like, what's going on? The what's, what's what are we trying to do here? Yeah. What are we doing? Yeah. So that's the part I'll be lost. Like, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> that's crazy that we both went and paid for. Like, shit, I paid for the Black Chinese. Yeah, I, well, I paid for it initially, saying, oh well, because I heard Jocelyn. Well, I tried to watch, yeah. to watch, and I just was like, I don't know what the overall goal is. Yeah. Like it's not like she's trying to save the girls but not save them. That's what she was talking about. Like she was like, well, well, I'm trying to save them. them. But you gotta and watch the show. Like, for like, mm -hmm. yeah, what are you doing? Well, yeah, what are you doing? Like what's really good? Don't save them. Well, I mean, I wasn't. I was actually happy that Black China was okay, but then I was very, very impressed by two of our friends. After that, Nico and Neff. Did you see I posted this song? <laughs> I just seen that the other day. Okay, so we have faithful, faithful friends that come here. And come where they at now? I don't know. They, they on dates. They on dates. They on dates. They on dates. Neff be front. I ain't getting that balance. Nah, Nico said he on the way. His ass either. But they, yo, this song is hot. It's yeah. fire. I like seen it. Nico it, was singing the hook first. And Nico singing that. Yeah. Neff, Neff, I was like, crying. Okay, it was good. I was like, okay. Penny's wet. <laughs> nah, I'm not. I didn't say that. But I was thinking it. No, I was like, no, this is like really a sexy song. It's a dope little little joy. I was I was very I was I was happily surprised. Because I always knew that Nico could sing. See that's what I was gonna say. I didn't know that they were working together. But I always knew that Nico could sing because I watched his yeah. covers and stuff. I didn't know enough rap. <laughs> Nev mentioned, you know, people like kind of try by and say things. And yeah, it's like, yeah. They don't really yeah. stick because they ain't really like said it enough. Yeah. He mentioned it before. Wow. But I think I never really like. Well, he's I nice. Like, really busy. <laughs> well, he's nice. I like. I love. Yeah, that. I liked it though. Actually, when I heard it, I was. Yeah, like, I was like, okay, okay. Is talk <laughs> that talk, boy. I don't like talking that motherfucker. Wait, that's Nico. That's Nico first. Yeah. Yeah. I told him that's not talking to me. I shoot in the video. I need to come yeah. to and see them. Hello. Hello. <laughs> no, but. Right? No, but I mean, I posted them. I thought it was dope. Um, I really 
really definitely I'm I'm proud of that. Like I think No, that great. is dope shit. No, they came in networked with each other and Exactly. Bro, and that's what we keep saying, network, network, network. Yeah. Get to know each other. But we're gonna take a five minute break. This break is brought to you by Toast Vodka. Okay. Non GMO made with coconut water and it's gluten free. She got it down bad. Get sexy yeah. with it. Five minutes, we're gonna come back with sports. Let's do it. So I had the date already locked in for you. Remember we, we, um, we cornered him at Studio 183? I talked to him like last Thank week. Thank you. This is better, guys. This is for you. All right. Grace in the building. Grace, what's up? Shout out to Toast Baca. We love them. Shout out to, Shout out to Repent, the Hangover Cure, Nanotechnology. We love them. Yeah. God Shout out to Bel Air, Lex Pierre. He left some champagne. Oh, I love Bel Air. Boy over there too. Sad. Okay. Oh, so on the sports, ladies Let's and gentlemen. Let's get into some sports. All right. So I read um, on the internet that a former NFL player, Devon Hall, was found not guilty for killing his mother by reason of insanity. So I saw that, <laughs> and I was like, "What?" <laughs> my mom said, "My mom, his mom." I was like, "His mom." Like when I when I initially read the headline, I thought, you know how you just like you read, but you're like your subconscious like just blurts out something else. I was just thinking he was gonna say his baby mama. I swear to God, I thought it was gonna say oh girlfriend. When I see him, I said like, what? Right. I had to like go back and be like, oh, my contacts are right. I just didn't know if I, what I was seeing was correct because that's insane. Right. What made you turn on your own mom? Don't ask me. I'm not the. One. And they never gave a reason in it. But like he's not guilty. They, they have to send him to like a, a, a mental, mental health place. Okay. Yeah. They said he was struggling with it before, like having like different outbursts from what I read. So for, to him, it probably could have been just like anything that just triggered him. He went ham, not even realizing. Wow. It was his mom. But they, I feel like if he was struggling with it, nobody kind of felt like let's so get him. I don't know. They say he was but I feel like a lot of people um do that. He was what? He was homeless. And oh, for real. Well, you know, a lot of people who are homeless yeah. actually have mental health issues, and it's not really about them just being homeless. Right. Is they decide not to go. Right. Isn't Devontae home. West like? Isn't there, there was an NBA player too that? Oh yeah, um, I seen that. Yeah, I think it's like mental health too, and um, there's a lot going on. And like Anike was saying, um, we don't we don't see it, or we don't see the signs, or something. The people around them don't see the signs, and they're not getting help. And it just sometimes it just um, worsens. They don't know where to go for help too. Yeah. So that's another thing because people have different um, family members who maybe dealing with mental health and they just don't know where to go to seek help. Yeah. And sometimes in the black community, yeah. people can be too embarrassed to I say, say like, especially in they our have community. a child or a sibling that's going through yeah. anything like that too. Which, don't be embarrassed, get them some type of treatment. Yeah. What's that sound? Was that the AC? I don't know what that is. Shout out to David Clowney, just joined the. Um, DC, what's going on? Uncle Luke said he's coming to drink with you. <laughs> oh, you better. <laughs> Luke, you still drink Bacardi Limon? <laughs> he used to drink that back in the day. Yes, he does. Bacardi had some good stuff. Limon and Pear were good. But Uncle Luke, you got to come. You got He'll your drink on deck. I have a calendar, so I have okay. to mark down already on the calendar. All right. You try not to tell me who's coming. <laughs> I realize you can't hold water because you told Brandon that we was coming up to Cincinnati. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I realized, oh, you can't hold what it's Listen, like. Listen, and you know why I did that? Look, so we can have some stuff planned. Because I was wondering. He knew when he was coming up. Look, I told him the job was coming up. At the time, we, because okay. I was coming too. 
So, uh, so he was okay. aware. <laughs> Semi aware. He was fully aware. <laughs> now, was super how you surprised. was not aware, but then you claimed you bought me a ticket for the little dinner. On, on I know. Sunday. Okay, he was super. So how aware were you to buy me a ticket to a dinner on Sunday? Yeah, baby. His old man was on oh, his table too. His old man? Yes. Exactly. Yeah, who told me? I sat in his seat. So how was he going away? Well, the great didn't have a seat yeah. though. I didn't, she didn't have, have a seat. I didn't have a seat. I took your seat. Right. <laughs> so he wasn't aware Grace was coming. <laughs> oh, he just didn't want to pay for Grace. He probably wasn't aware Grace was coming. Granted, he did her dirty. <laughs> he did her like how relaxed Ray did me at the hospital for time at home with the men. Well, um, also I read in the, um, in the news that uh, Cleveland Browns, uh, Miles Garrett, he got reinstated to the NFL. He was the guy who, remember that time we talked about the subject with, um, they were playing against uh, Nelly. They were playing against um, Pittsburgh Steelers. Yes. And they got into a fight and he swung the helmet. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah we remember that one. Yeah. And they kind of like, uh, oh, I can't believe you came. <laughs> Y'all feel free to get a drink. Um, Drinks at the bar, food behind you. And they got into like a fight or whatever, and um, he hit the quarterback with the helmet. With the helmet. Yeah, so. That was crazy. I thought it was insane. They suspended him, but he's gotten reinstated now. Are you, how do you, you, yeah. you feel about the reinstatement? I don't know how you feel about it. I'm glad he got another chance. He was really, he was really being attacked. Like, Cause they didn't show that watch, part about. It. I was gonna say they didn't show the first the quarterback, part. The quarterback, Did he get grabbed? Yeah. Did he yeah. grab? Yeah. So all you seen, all we really seen was the reaction, and then they added. Uh, I kept, kept watching. Playing, it. Yeah. Then somebody highlighted maybe Shannon Sharp. Somebody highlighted what took place the first, 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 and, and then was, all you seen was the reaction. But I mean, I'm glad he got another chance, and he was reacting in the, in the heat of the moment. So, you know, it is what it is. Also, well, no, when, yeah, no, no, I was glad to see that, but I was just like, damn. I'm just mad that he was the only one that really got in trouble, trouble, but... Yeah, but they, they brought him back, though. Um, Pouncey had got, like, two games suspension. A couple of guys. The quarterback didn't get in. So, boy, did you see your boy... Oh, you didn't watch the documentary. Your boy Pouncey had, like, some I didn't cameos. I oh, for Aaron Hernandez? Yeah. Yeah, your boy Pouncey. You know they all just school together. Yeah, so he, he was on phone with him in jail and shit. Well, I was like, oh, no, shit, I know! I was Pouncey's teammate in, um, with, in the Dolphins. So, yeah. when that happened... We were both on the Dolphins, and Pouncey had like a, I don't know, it was a t-shirt or a hat or something about him and his back then. So I knew, they, I knew they were tight back then. Did you did you hear about Colin Kaepernick releasing the memoir? Right. I did hear it. Um, are you going to pick it up? I am. I am. Stop lying. I, I am. Lie. I might not really no read it, but I'm just support. Like, I, I like, I'm a supporter. I'm a That's fine. I feel like we kind of know already why you did it. Some people are trying to overlook why you did it, so I don't feel like I need to read the book. <laughs> I feel like he said it enough. Of he definitely he said it enough. And things like that. But his, his, his book is supposed to be based on what led him, you know, to, to kneel. Because I was a little confused about that. I was like, I thought we already know why you were protesting. He's trying to control his narrative. Okay. And, and that makes sense then. Because right. So, right now everybody so else So people is. can't say, he's going to say it out of his own, you know, mouth into words. Uh, why he did it and what it stood for. So the media can no longer, even though they already did, try to control the narrative. I don't, well, well, that's good that he's doing it. I know um, last week we had some controversy with Jay-Z, but this week I see that Jay-Z, he got the NFL to, what did he do? He got the NFL to, to do commit it. like a hundred million, right? Yeah, that's, crazy. that's a lie. I was going to show him to the Mika Claxton Foundation with that hundred million, but I don't think he want to come see me. That's it. But that's a commitment. But I mean, everybody at the beginning when they felt like Jay Z sat down with the NFL and negotiating things, they didn't know what he was doing. They were like, "Oh, he's this that other." Was like, he, he knew what time. he was doing. Yeah, he definitely was setting up some moves. Get a man time. Yeah, he plays chess clearly. He was making some moves. He set shit up. Right. I like that. And I, I know um, for me, I think this week in sports was clearly. Overshadowed by Dwayne Wade, and oh, yeah. there wasn't really much going on in the sports field. This week. That's why, but that's why I said it was clearly overshadowed oh. by Dwayne. But I don't even know if that's. I know it's not really sports related, but he is a superstar, so you know I'm gonna just sports keep this in sports. Yeah. yeah, and you know, I think when my 11 year old daughter and my and my 16 year old they came to me like, "Mommy, did you hear about Dwayne Wade's son? Um, Zion is he's trip." 
No, he's transitioning. No, he transitioned to Zaya. Now he's just a man. No, he's just the man, but he's going to identify. I mean, I'm sure things it's steps. So you know, at yeah, later on, he shouldn't do all that until like he, he better not. I would hope not because that's a real like yeah. permanent decision. Um, I mean, I, like they came to me and had so many questions, and then it just led me to like, is this the time to bring this out? Like <laughs> they got questions, so that was like you. And like you yeah, can't dance well, my, yeah. Well, my oldest daughter's already like familiar with. It. I mean, she loves mm-hmm. like a lot of um. You, I mean, well, even my younger daughter, like, she's very familiar with a lot of transgender um, YouTube like famous people like mm-hmm. Nikita Dragon and those Delicious. women and whatever. So It'd be cute. No, that's why I said she's very familiar. No, 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 no. Uh, she's very familiar <laughs> with those. Kids. I mean, I like Nikita Dragon too. She's okay. a makeup guru. So I mean. They're very familiar, so this time though was a question because they're just familiar with seeing him as, well seeing her now as a little boy and wondering like, oh well, so he's just not gonna, like they never saw Nikita Dragon as before. Right. So it's like, oh well he used to be, and now she had to well, identify well, well, so I mean, I'm assuming, so I, I, I don't, oh. she's identifying now, whatever. So it was just, it was just a huge thing. But, and even with the Wendy Williams thing, I don't think she said anything homophobic, honestly. She was just being Wendy Williams, being... She had apologized. Yeah, yeah, but she apologized because I think people obviously took offense to it. But for her, she was just being Wendy Williams, saying, oh, come on, you know, we can't have anything for us. So you guys don't get the menses and that, and and the menopause. So don't, you can't, whatever she said. I mean, I, I, I watched it. And I was like, and I, when she said it, I was just like, oh. But I didn't think it was homophobic. I was just like, "Why are you going in?" But I didn't think it was homophobic. I mean, I know she she loves the LGBT plus community like we do too. So I didn't think it was anything other than just her trying to be silly and say something to get a reaction from the crowd. I didn't really hear what she said, but I, I yeah, she, that she was like, oh. she was like, "Boy, y'all better not even come because it was called Valentine's Day." I mean, it really was started with girls having like. Pajama parties and you know girls night out and this and that to oh, celebrate okay. being single. So that's why she was like, "You better not raise your hand if you're." And I was like, oh, "Okay, I mean, I see what she's saying, but I don't think it was homophobic. I think she was just trying to start something with them, just for laughs and giggles. But they ain't, they weren't laughing, and they definitely really? wasn't giggling, you know. <laughs> but it was crazy. But as far as I uh, is concerned, I actually am very happy that he. The only thing I'm wondering though is why the mom. Isn't the one doing all the talking and Dwayne like it's Gab and Dwayne? Probably because they live together. I mean, I know they live together, but the mom should also be like, yeah, I mean, I support my son. They kind of like moved her out of the picture. They really did, and that's the only thing that concerned me. Like, I'm not even as worried as much about like what he's doing because, like, okay, young little girl's decision. She did. She wants to identify with whatever way she wants to identify, but. It's like Gab and Dwayne. It's not like Gab, Dwayne, and Mom. Mm. Like I just want to know that the mom is there supporting mm. him the way, you know, his stepmom and his dad is. You know. Yeah. So hopefully she is. I hope so. That was yeah. It was just crazy that it was so young. Yeah. That's all I was like. like He's so young to 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 say that like. I'm gonna be transgender. I mean, I guess identifying is different because I don't think he's gonna do the surgeries or anything like There's that. No way you can do that before. You're yeah, before you're 18, right? Without a parent's permission. More time. To think. Yeah, more time. I mean, he could always, she can always stay transgender without cutting anything off. I just think it's painful. That's all I'm going to do. Before I say the wrong thing. No, but I just don't want him to cut anything off. That's like permanent. <laughs> So also in the news, we see AB has spoke about his behavior, his allegations against him, as well as his music. I haven't heard his music yet, have you? I heard it. Yeah. What y'all think? I haven't heard he it. He was on the Breakfast Club yesterday, I want to say. Um, it, was, it, was like, it was all right. It's not that bad? Yeah, it was all right. It was not bad. It was not bad. But was it good? Because I feel like y'all said no, it's not that bad. It's not bad. I got, what's it? I got money, what's it? Like, I got money, how much money, what you saying? Whole lot of money. Whole lot of money. It was alright. It wasn't bad. Okay. I mean, people gonna dance to it. Strippers gonna oh, strip to it. Oh, I got another opinion. What? It was bad? I mean, it just was, uh... You heard the lyrics? I, yeah, I heard it. It was oh, kind of like, uh... 
Whatever. What kind of music do you like? <laughs> because after, <laughs> I, after a retirement home set up, I'm thinking about shit. Yeah. So I just need to know what kind of music you like before I trust your opinion. I'm from Georgia. I like any kind of music. Oh, okay, bye. I like I like Phil like, Mob. Like, well, who's your, okay, you who was some of your favorite rappers? Phil Mob, because that's where he's from. I love Phil Mob, but right now I like Roddy Rich. He's from the same time. You like Roddy Rich? Yeah. Oh, we not Roddy Rich fans over here. I know, I know, I know. But you was you was going on Super Bowl night. Like, you know what happened? I, I, I saw what happened. You saw what happened? Yeah, I did. But we go. Wow. Yeah, he left after the drama. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know if we can touch for Lex Ray. Matt, read it. Wait. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I heard it, but you didn't hear it. You gotta listen to it. Tell us what you think next week. <laughs> Right, Tell us what you think for sure. Okay. What's the most sports note? <laughs> no. Oh, I'm so sorry. Matt had all the sports notes. I'm sorry. <laughs> Great. I'm glad. So I'm gonna take this shot. This break is brought to you by Repent. Sure. Follow them at Drink Repent and cure that hangover. <laughs> I'm gonna take a shot though. <laughs> you want to take a little break? Yeah. Quick one. Three minutes though. We gonna get back to turn the topics. Welcome back to Mac and Mika Live. Live. Yeah. We are back on the front day again. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful people. I love our audience because they're so fly. Yeah. Oh, oh, my my oh. Oh. And we got our anniversary in the house. Yeah. Happy oh. anniversary. Happy anniversary. He can sing though. You can sing. No, I can't. Yes, you can. He really can. 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 But yes, now, so now we're on the trending topics. Absolutely. <laughs> so first thing on trending topics we've seen is Snoop Dogg issued an apology to Gail, and she accepted. She accepted. But his apology was for calling her out of her name. So he still stood by what he said. As he, he should. He didn't to call her out of her name. As he should. All right, now I think both were, yeah, warranted, yeah, though. That he should have stood by his conviction. But then, I mean, later on, she kind of later on said that she was taken back by CBS putting out that clip. She too. said that too earlier, yeah. But I don't know. Because you know what you asked. I mean, I think she was just, what were you going to say? You knew what you asked. You knew like, that it was wrong. Like some people say, as a reporter, you don't have to ask certain You don't. So if you put that out there, it's just you know, like just know. This is what I think. I think, you know, her, the R. Kelly situation and how she kind of stood her ground and then, and it kind of like put a little like, oh yeah, because Gail, yeah, duh. However, this is a whole different situation where somebody passed away and you're talking about allegations that were dropped or whatever and you're bringing them up after they die. So it's a little different. And I think she was trying to do it for journalism and a little bit and it just didn't go her way. You know, that's a good point. I didn't even realize it. Like that, and look at it like that. That everybody looked at her as the yeah, you went in on you know, the R. Kelly went crazy. Oh, yeah, they definitely I didn't remember. even look at that. And then now she's like, Yeah, I'm gonna do the same thing. It's gonna be she next thought that it may come up, be another notch in her belt, exactly. But then it's backfired. Thanks, Nelly. <laughs> I'm joking. Her phone was on. Everybody, can you turn your phones on the side of my Thanks. No, but I didn't even look at it like that. That's crazy that she, um, not that she would allow a network, because of course, she, in her head, she probably was but like, she I'm doing my job. Work. And then she blamed them for and whatever. And then Oprah's taking up for her, like, oh, she needs security now. Nah, that's another. I thought that was whack. Well, if you need security, oh, well, invest I didn't in the network and make sure yeah. they pay for it so they put you on the spot. Like I thought that was funny. I was like, yeah, make sure they pay for it. They should. I mean, since you feel like you need security and they put it out there like that, Cover your security costs. I mean, I, we've heard nothing from the network. At all. No spokesperson has come forward yet. Nothing's going to stop the network. <laughs> You'll just get replaced. Exactly. Clearly, you were replaceable, unfortunately, because she was doing her thing before that. But, right. but yeah, but no, that, that was. That was so, another trending topic that I read was about John Peters' claims that his 12 day marriage to Baywatch star Pamela Anderson Lee, well, Pamela Anderson, a fizzle out after he paid all her debt. Look, that was so crazy to me. Who was, was the whole thing? Um, 
was hot girls, city boys versus hot girls. Yeah. Hot girls was up when they went up with that one. They went up because he paid all them debts off, and then she was. He was like, "Well, raise right. down." But right. listen, and when I saw that, I thought that was crazy. I was like, yeah. "Damn!" Like, but is that true? Like, are we really? I think that is true. Like, your financial debts or whatever would be a turn off, but twelve days. Like <laughs> twelve days, I'm out. Like they got married. Like you so didn't know she had that debt before the twelve days. No, he knew. So he said, "Let me clean your little debt up. You know, get you back." He said right. it turned him off. It turned her off. He said it turned her off. Like it, it fizzled out. Like the relationship fizzled out. Though he said, and he, they put that in quotes. So he said that he said the broke Pamela Anderson <laughs> clearing up her debt. But I think, and I was like, I don't think it like really turned him off. I feel like she just kind of. Use the situation for what it was and kind of just like backed off. It wasn't just the same anymore. It was like, okay, you paid my debt. Uh, we ain't got to hug too much. We ain't got to do <laughs> She was like, back up off me. Yeah, like, don't shit, what you doing? Don't rub my thigh like that. Yeah, anymore. so. It was cute before. It wasn't cute anymore. It was cute before I didn't want to be dead. <laughs> <laughs> so, wait, does anybody else disagree? Like, do you think that it was the debt that, like, turned him off? It wasn't her debt to turn him off because he paid it, shit. Yeah. Well, clearly, like, him paying nah, it. Nah, he must have read it wrong. Her. He's yeah. saying the relationship fizzled yeah. because after he paid the debt, after 12 days he paid the debt, the relationship fizzled. Therefore, after he paid the debt. No, he said, she, it said it fizzled because he paid broke Pamela Anderson's debt. Do I need to look it up? Broke, but I'm just dying because he called it his wife broke. Called her broke because he's bitter because yeah. the relationship fizzled. After he paid her debt, so therefore it fizzled. It went down the drain. Like it's not. It didn't turn him off because he paid because he would. He didn't have to pay it. No, I don't think it turned him off because he paid. I'm saying that it turned him off. Because I'm she telling was you broke. why. I'm saying because she was broke. You knew she was broke prior. And that's what I'm saying. I'm like, you knew she was broke. So if you listen, As it I said. Always do. As I always do. It <laughs> that it fizzled <laughs> afterwards because. Her debt was good, so she wasn't probably doing the wifely things that she was doing prior. I don't think Pam Anderson was ever doing no wifely You go back, clear. Clear. go back and read it. Go back. Let's be clear, because I watched her on Go back and read it. And I, watched her on, on I watched her on, some, on her show with her son, and I don't think she was doing no wifely stuff, honestly. She might have known what she needed to do to get married, and then once she got married, her debt got paid. So you trying to say she wasn't slopping that knob no more? Something took place. Well, something didn't take place. And then it didn't happen no more. It was over. She was done. Like, okay. Got the money. Got the money. Something days. definitely didn't happen no more. Oh, our guest made it in the building. You must be ready to hear that. Oh, 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 oh,
said champagne as well. Oh, we got a fruit. This guy had a writer, y'all. We got a fruit. We got fruit and all too. Uh, Grace, I think All right, so this guy wanted the fruit and the champagne. I said, who's the champagne? And the douce. About the women who've been going on dates with these yeah. guys, dinner dates, yeah. and the guys been paying for the dinner, wow. and then all of a sudden they wow. drug the guys and rob them. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. This week I feel like uh, the hot girls is up over the <laughs> over the city boys. Shout out to my local scammers. <laughs> 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 It's a movement. Well, I mean, no. What are they doing? They're giving them Vizine? What are they doing? Like, they didn't really say what they was giving them. They just said they were drugging them and robbing them once they get back. That's not okay. All right? Like, that's not okay. So right. what do we do? Does it go womp, womp? Is it a noise? What happens? <laughs> that's not all right. I'm not into, like, taking what's not mine. Yeah. Right. I feel you. Um, <laughs> what's your thoughts? It's the same thing. I'm not going to take your thoughts. It's not mine. Right. 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 So, I mean, what the hell y'all feel? Right, <laughs> I, mean, I, think, I think that green dress got them all struck because that green dress is hitting. What was they doing? Just, oh they was talking. 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 They was you know, I'm new out here because I'm from me. I'm new out here, fairly still. And I was like, yo, I want to go to another place, go out and everything, have drinks. He's like, yo, you got to go to this spot. It's, yeah. it's fly. You got to go there. Yeah, like so that. me and Grace, we oh, went. Okay. It was like, man, like, everything was out. Everything, pop, pop, pop. We was feeling good. We was looking good, smelling good. We was like, oh. We get there, it's mad all of a sudden. It was like, it was a bad situation. All I know is I called him, I said, yo, you tried me, nigga. You tried me. I did, you tried me. No, no, they had bald head. Right here. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, matter of fact, I'm gonna find a video and I'm gonna show they you. They had George Jefferson. Yes, they <laughs> have. But they was not moving up to the west side at all. They were stuck. They were stagnant. But um, but anyway, we still love you, Ray. But I don't trust your, your judgment no more. I love you too. Damn. <laughs> Don't do that yet. They shot your credibility. Damn. <laughs> so the next topic I was talk, I seen um was about uh um, Omarion. He um I'm bothered Omarion. He discussed um how him and Fizz, Little Fizz doesn't really have a relationship at this moment, but he's opened down the line to discuss um plays you know with his baby mom and everything, which I think is mature. But as he said, was down the line. So not right now, nigga. But let, let, let's get it down the line. So how would y'all handle a situation like that if y'all were in that? If y'all were in a situation where Amar, if y'all were Marion, and how would you handle it? <laughs> You'd be embarrassed. But I feel like he's been really calm and mature about it. I know. How would you? I pray to reach that level of maturity. Cause that motherfucker's lights would have been turned off. Mama lights, some shit would have been happening. Nah, I would respect that. That's so. That's yeah. Hell. And he just knows, like, not right now, but eventually we can we can talk. We talk about it and, and see what really was going on during that time. So. I mean, they gotta talk. They got kids together, like, and yeah. they little babies, you know, like, so you gotta talk when they babies. No, he's talking about him and little fizz, though. Oh, oh. Fizz? Yeah, their friendship. He's talking about. Right now they don't have one, but he's open to talk about their friendship down the line and the whole situation too with his baby mom. Oh, but yeah. didn't Fizz say on the reunion that he was never really friends with him like that? Right. So. But Amari kind of said, we not friends right now. But at a point, you know they have to be friends. Yeah, that's what I'm, oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I'm with. I mean, that's good that they're willing to have a conversation. I mean, yeah, yeah, and to just have to bring some type of closure to their friendship, exactly. relationship. They've been friends with too long, business wise right. and personal. So yeah, hell yeah. Meanwhile, <laughs> I was meanwhile he took the Instagram. Hey, we are there. We all we are all the way at that yeah, the time. Without the rest of 2K, we did just the oh, the you know what I'm saying? But yeah, you know what? I actually I think I I'm glad guys here because I have one of to ask you. You're in your entertainment tax. I like tax too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I'm super happy that you guys are doing your thing. Yeah. 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 So Amber had, and I don't know if it's a real tattoo, but she had, it looks to be like, it is. Okay, see, so Nicole says it is. And I was wondering, I was like, damn, I mean, she has a picture, uh, tattoo of her youngest son's name across her forehead. And I was like, okay, was it Slash Electra? No, Slash. Oh, so she had both of their names across her forehead. Okay, so would you do that? I wouldn't do it personally, um, but I don't hate on a mother. No, I'm not hating, but we, no, I never said you was hating. See, don't do that. I never, I never, you know, like I, I just feel as though like that shit is fire. And if she had more kids' names, because I've seen people make comments like, "What is she? She gonna do a whole shape up of that shit with all the fucking kids? What's going on?" Like, and, yeah, like it's 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 her face, it's her body, it's really, it, you know, it's it's her vibe. I like it on her. You know, it's some shit that it grow on people. Everybody hate everything in the beginning. And then later on, it's just like, oh my God, goals. And then it's like, damn, no goals. And you know what? If she want to cover it up, she just put a bang. She can have a bang. She can put a bang on it. You know, eventually, like, put a wig on have a bang. If she want to cover it up. Like, you know what I mean? So it don't always have to be strong. Yeah. 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 So. I like it. Like, I like it. 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 I like so okay, another thing in um trending topics we seen was Jesse Smollett was indicted uh, again <laughs> on the connection to the 2019 attack. I'm, can we figure out? I'm still. I thought it was over. I thought it was over too. Uh, you know they can pick up the indictments within two years and seven years and all types of shit. So like, yeah, they picked up some other shit. Is it done after seven years? I don't know. Because you're not like your, um, you be having like bad credit and shit after seven years to drop off. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, don't call me Oh, shit. Yeah, don't call me Okay, damn. Yeah, I was hope so. You know what? Speaking of that whole Jesse Smollett joint, you saw when the, um, the Jesse Smollett the guys that they claim to be hired, they said they're having problems living like right now. They're like eating at soup kitchens and things like that. They're not really... They can't get hired anymore. Sure, what they was doing before? Training they people, train. I guess. Yeah, they they <laughs> but they have a problem getting hired now. They were training people. Why you gotta trust training. your trainer? That's what I thought. But that's what I was thinking. You trust me, shit. I don't know. I trust your muscles. I trust your muscles. <laughs> but that's so crazy because that's the first thing I said is like, when did like all of that background checks come into training? Like, right. when did I even worry about that? Like, I just want to know. They captain right now. They just, they just doing the most. That's all. They doing it for themselves. All this shit is weird. They did it for Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> They did, and then now they over here trying to like act like Jesse fucked up their whole life, but it really they just trying to sue that man. All of them, <laughs> it was all of them. Y'all was down with that shit now. Also, don't be switching out now. No, I'm not saying me. No, I'm talking about the dudes. No, you sensitive. I'm talking about the dudes. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were talking about the guys. Wasn't. So, um, has anybody done the broomstick challenge? Can we do it? Uh, I haven't. I have seen a lot of people do it. I'm like, did it really work? I did it. I did it. I did it. Oh, so you did it. I 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 did Nah, but Broom's got low gravity already. I don't know. Y'all don't remember that break dancing shit back in the day? I'm only 20. I don't know how the fuck I do it. I'm lost. Is that what I'm talking about? Look, 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 look. And y'all don't want to talk as though. Van, what's up? Niggas stood that shit up. Yeah. Thank you, man. Van, just walked in. Hey, what's up? 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 Hey, what's up?
Yo. Glowing in the dark. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, it does, right? Yeah, yeah. Galactic world. Like I'm so happy that. I'm, I'm glad you made it too. Made it too. I'm glad you made it too, Nicole. That's a nice surprise. Right. Yeah, very nice. But let's talk about what you guys got going on. I know we're talking about trending topics, and you guys are trending. So let's talk about what you got. <laughs> so what you got going on? I thought we were talking about. God is good all the time, all the time, all the time. and all the time, God is good. Can I get an amen? Miami's been good to me, and I closed down a shop here. I'm about to open up a shop out in LA on Melrose, and I'm super excited about that. And my acting career is taking off, and I'm really able to be focused and be, you know, like more into my health and more into the vibe. And I just feel really good, like, you know, consistent. And my energy is on a different space and a different level, and I just want to continue to give that out and show you know you already know where i came from i want to show you where i'm going you know? so that's really it you about to see bitches in movies that's that's really that's 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 the what about you nicole you got shit you got well, I got my own business coming out. Well, body shapers. That's right. And eyelashes. Show them the body, though. Come on. It's not a body. It's not a body. It's a shape already. You're in my friend's body. Yes. Yes. The body shape. Send me two. Eyelashes, extensions, and yeah, that's what I got going on right now. That's what I'm working on. It's not available right now, though. No, it's going to be available on my birthday, which is next week. Okay, all right, so coming soon. So, where can we look for that? February 18th. February 18th, where are we going to go online? Um, Collection.com or just on Instagram. I was going to say, let them know where to follow you if they're not following you already. Let them know because then that's when you're going to announce everything, right? Yes. Um, My Instagram is real Nicole Zavala. And yeah, just follow me. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have it on our Instagram too, guys. And we're gonna follow, and it's all about following and supporting, and you know, just making sure that each other doing their thing, thing up here. And so, I see. So you said you closed down the shop out here. Yeah, I have a year lease, and I wasn't going to be because I'm going to bring the shit out to LA. That's what I was gonna say. That's the dope ass. Well, that's where uh, act the world and everything too, so it yeah. makes sense. Because right here, when I was here, it was basically to. You know, get myself out. Okay. Like I'm, I'm a Virgo. I'm very like. Um, you close to my birthday though. I'm close to your birthday. I'm September 23rd. Oh yeah. Oh, all right. So uh, hold on. You're um, a Libra. The first day, yeah. The first day of Libra. Yeah. All right. So you got some tendencies. So you are <laughs> September what? Nineteenth. Yes. Oh my God. Don't say what well like that. Like you didn't release her. No. Like, I, 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 you know that. Yeah. I know. I know. I know it's close to mine. Yeah. Cause Flo like the seventeenth, and I knew you was like right behind it too. So. Yeah. Florida. Yeah, so I, I, I knew y'all. I think so. No, I think so. No, 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 no. I knew it was like Ray Bond. I'm a Leo. So I knew, I knew you were. Arr, oh, it's an R. I knew it was like a couple days after that. So okay, the nineteen. No, so I'm like really like I don't keep the relationships going. Like I can um, I'm very cordial when I meet people. Yeah. But as far as continuing the relationship, I've had a hard time doing that. So as li living here throughout the year, that's helped me, especially with my um, business relationships, because that's what I wanted to work on before I went out to LA. Okay. So like, um, you know, a bitch is nicer now. What's up? <laughs> Just very nice. And you know, I'm nicer, kinder, and I'm um, exuding that energy. I'm not sure. Yeah. You know, you say some shit I don't like. I just, you know. <laughs> All right. I get it. I'm not agreeing. All right, I can get that. So, like, I had a hard time with that at one point, and now I feel like I'm ready for LA. Ready for. Okay. I had to prepare myself like life. I think you would do good in LA. Um, you have a big personality. You always have a lot of good energy. 
So I think you would do good out there. People would be attracted to you. You just have to, out there, just have some type of discernment on who you allow in the circle. Yeah. But yeah. I feel like a lot of people gravitate to you out there. But It's about your circle. Yeah. Um, especially out there. Yeah. yeah. And I'm so happy I have a great close-knit circle. That's yeah. good. Joey, just, you know, like, yeah. That's good. I always say Virgos are beautiful people inside and out. Like, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You a Virgo too? Always. I always say that with Yolanda. Like, um, we have friends with Virgos. I hate Virgos when I meet them. Uh, until I know that they're Virgo. I've never met a Virgo. For real? Until I know they're Virgo because I understand. Like, the ones that I know. Right. What the people are asking you about moving out to LA, are you going to do anything in New York? No. I've been there all my life. I was a bum there. Like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> like, <laughs> I go there, I film, I leave. Like, I go there to see my fam, friends, anything. Nah, it's not. New York is dead. I love New York. Like, I, I love New York. It's my heart. Like, it's... It's that special place in it. Yeah, that's it's it. cold. That's fine. That's fine. I'm, I'm that's happy. Cool. Like, fuck this that I got coming up, you know? Big trip. <laughs> I fell in love with a lifting. <laughs> she finished it, so I didn't have to ask. But no, no, I'm glad to hear that. I'm so happy I am here. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you like, yeah, so I see, I see you on Friday, look. It was Wednesday. I see you on Friday. Oh, yeah. Yes. No, he kept saying it. You still on Wednesday. Yeah, I ain't gonna fuck up coming. No, I look, but he knows me so well. Let me tell you, because you know how you commit to something, mind you, I don't like committing to anything. I'm kind of like that too, so maybe that's part of my Virgo. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, yeah it's like, mm, very because you never know what's going to go on, so it's like, I don't want to commit, it's something that's come up, I have to do that. Well, that I didn't kind of know. Too, man, because I just said that the other day, we have a friend that, um, I don't know, she's talking about doing something, and for her birthday, and it's in a couple of weeks, and I was like, I can't plan shit for a couple of weeks, like, yeah, that's too like, far out. Like, bro, that's too far. <laughs> I might come up. I might want to go to Costa Rica, you know, like, I might be in New York, I don't know what I'm going to do. I might just be in Pride. Yeah, yeah, that's me. Yeah. Yes. Virgo is yeah, the man of the day. Now, Matt, you better take it. We're going to time you on this motherfucker. Okay. <laughs> 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 Thank you. 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 Max said he gonna rip that shit up. You gonna you're not gonna time me. What y'all did for Valentine's Day while he opening up the box? <laughs> what y'all do today? Got ready for the show. Yeah, I'm ready for the show. Yeah, I'm ready for the show. <laughs> well, we have an anniversary, Nico. What did you do? No, what did you do before here? Y'all eat no chocolate. Y'all eat dinner like y'all cursing niggas out. What's up? I cursed niggas out of my head because I was like, I gotta fight it out. Before y'all came, I said I gotta fight it out. Uh, I got a massage. It was half Swedish, half deep tissue. It was really good. It wasn't from Maria. It was from a new girl. I didn't like her at first, and guess who she was? A Virgo. Yeah, I didn't like her at first either. Because she opened my door. I said, you are doing too much. Yeah, it's too much. But she opened the door. Yeah, I don't open my door. Don't do too much. Like, if I let me initiate the hug. After the hug initiated, don't touch me anymore. I'm that type of guy. You know what's funny is? We have another massage therapist that's a Virgo in here. Tonight. Relax, Ray. <laughs> you not that kind of massage therapist that be doing that shit. Nah, thank you all. I'm gonna give you a good massage. A regular massage, right? Not one I need a plan B. <laughs> I don't know. You never know. <laughs> Oh, I see like one. I see that warm up. I saw that shit. I did. Like, yeah. I seen that. No, I did. I do love the hat. I did both. Y'all didn't see that one? Y'all being this serious, I swear to God. Hugs on my kids. That's what I want. That's what I want. I'm the only one that watches porn. I'm like, y'all. We said that before. That's the massage. It's some new shit. Massage. 
massaging and fucking. I don't know. I'm not into it, but you know. All right. So one other thing I see on um, trending topics uh, is a group of men posed as the members of Wu Tang Clan, <laughs> and they got busted because they scanned a bunch of hotels out of money. So they were staying at these hotels and they were saying it's Wu Tang. And when the bill came, these bills was like thirty nine thousand dollars. Cause they were ordering a bunch of shit. They were ordering a bunch of shit. Like standing up, people let them stay there. Clearly not putting no card down or something. I'm like lost how this happened, but they claimed they was part of Wu Tang and they let them stay there and then they ran. They stayed there for months. Yo, I know them niggas in Wu Tang, Ghostface, all them niggas is tight. They ain't been doing anything. Like yo, they are tight right now. Like what? I haven't been using these connections. Not necessarily do that stupid. Shit, but, but like, like damn, like I didn't know I could do this. Stay at a hotel like that, and not have put a car down or nothing, and everybody make sure you talk that talk. <laughs> Take it I'm telling you, the thing is, you just gotta act like you're supposed to be there. Like I was trying to tell you, you better think it until you make it. <laughs> <laughs> um. So another thing. Yeah. Tell us about it. The movie, the new movie that claims that Tupac is still alive. I got a Don't Machiavelli me. I'm alive like a palindrome or some shit like that. Like that. If somebody write out Machiavelli and turn it around and tell us what the hell it say. Like it's like a thousand bodies in this room. Not a thousand. Two, four, six, eight. <laughs> Y'all need to just be productive. Let's be a team together. Machiavelli, spell it out in your phone. X no, like, they spell it on their phone. They do it in their phone. Right? <laughs> See, y'all need to be productive. <laughs> All right, so Machiavelli spells I'm alive backwards, right? I bet money on it. I give whoever... $16 right it now. How many right? singles do I have in my wallet? <laughs> it does, right? It's not that. Oh, Brian, you're working. I'm sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. So, and what was Tupac's sign? Let's talk about Gemini. it. Gemini. Gemini's are double lived motherfuckers. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to win it, Jim. Ah, oh, talk to you later, Bobby. <laughs> Get the sign in, Nia Moore. Talk to me, cause I need some advice. Gemini, I'm a Gemini. Oh, Gemini. Oh, yo. Oh, Gemini. Crazy one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, they're not. My daughter's a Gemini. Oh, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, yeah. No, well, my daughter's a Gemini. That's what I'm saying. But she has like ten personalities. Oh, and I one minute she's happy, next minute she's sad, next minute she's crazy. But I feel like they know how to remove themselves when they're not in the mood though. Well she always removes herself, period. Yeah. Period. She's she's okay being a loner. She's okay. Yeah. Which is a good thing. Look at y'all, you know what's wrong with you then. Yeah. Oh, this is a May one, that's why I always forget. I always count the June ones. Yeah. That makes sense. Why would I not count the May Gemini's? That's not funny. Yeah, John is a true Gemini. That he he's super right, Gemini. Right, Gemini. Super around. duper Gemini. But no, no, the last thing I kind of want to bring up before we get back to the girls is. What is this? Oh, because she needs you to pick somebody. I've been away. I've been cut. Which one? Jazz. She's a Virgo. Jazz, <laughs> Jazz a Virgo, y'all. Jazz, when is your Virgo? Um, Virgo birthdays. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm Oh, my mom's birthday is August 30th. Like, I'm a Virgo raised by a Virgo. The nigga's birthday. Damn, bro. My grandma Virgo, she said yeah. number 12. That's real. Chinese yeah. grandma? Yeah. Oh. yeah. She loves Chinese. She loves Chinese. She loves Chinese. Yeah. She loves Asian. Yeah. Yeah. She's so cute. So we picked Jazz. All right, Jazz. jazz. Come spin the wheel. Unlucky Jazz. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
call one of them niggas and say, hey, I got something. I got to talk to you. Ooh, that's all you got to do. That's all you got to do. Shut up. Yo, we need to talk. Yeah, yeah. Fever. Fever was two years old, so you got two year old child. Oh, that's so fucking lit. 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 Oh, Right now, and you handled that lovely. Happy Valentine's Day! Happy 
Oh, it's, it's all a trick. It's all a trick. We, God bless you, King. Thanks for being a good sport. Everybody give him a round of applause. <laughs> 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 Don't say you had coronavirus. 
Travis go. You is not getting back. No, I can't say I'm pregnant because I can't. I can't. It's fucking possible. No, oh no, no, we already did a pregnant. Oh, you oh, pregnant is good. Though. No, she said she did. She said she wanna say that though. So say something. Don't do pregnant. Don't do pregnant. Don't do coronavirus. That's like it's like you had bad. I heard that that's from bad. I thought that was like from the, the from the Asia or something. Yeah, but you know that. But it started with that. You have Asian, so that's yeah. not from bad for real. Yeah. Are you shitting me? You have Asian? Yeah. yeah. All right, look. Oh, shit. Maybe this might work for you. Yeah. It might work. Don't trip. You didn't even know, right? I need you to fucking be like, you are in a goddamn emergency room right now. Let me see what happens. Coming from visiting. You gotta come up here though, so we can put it on the. Yes. So we can put it on the mic. Her family's having a family reunion in the Philippines right now. Listen, Grace, I need you to be in the goddamn hospital coughing and throwing scratchy skin off. Let me see if he picks up. No, you need to be here. We're coming this way again. You don't even know what the script is. Are you just going to fucking wing it? She's the actor probably in a club right now. He's not my, he ain't gonna answer. You're about to tell me about the coronavirus on fucking Valentine's Day. Yeah, who cares? Like, well, nigga, my nose is running, bitch. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no. He's not gonna he ain't gonna answer. He's probably on his Valentine's Day date. Voicemail. Yo, who you calling? Who else? Look at me for talking about who you calling. You need to just send a voicemail and be like, all oh, your hair just fell out in the patch in the front of you. Tell him to call somebody. Don't have nobody to call me. Tell him you're at the fucking doctor. It's from the last minute that you said. Fucking call mom at this point. Yo, will he answer? Yeah, he's going to Yo, tell the nigga your titty just fell off. This nigga's not answering. I do stupid shit like that. This nigga don't answer my phone call. You think you don't answer for me because I always be like, you finna pay for my I'm trying to answer for one of my besties, Tommy, and it's not going to be This is how Tommy wishes you a happy Valentine's Day and says she's loved you. This is what a sister does. I don't like you, but I love your fake ass. Happy Valentine's Day, whore. Love you. <laughs> God damn it, I love her. Isn't that so sweet? That's bestie shit. All right, guys, we love you. Thanks for staying long. No one's answering for Grace. No one is. We got you. 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 We I'm going to um, give you the code. You got to uh, connect the strong arm network. This is going to answer for me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, fuck it. It's all right, Grace. Fuck it. Get it the niggas. The niggas are black listed, you. They'll cut hello. Oh, this begging ass Grace Carter. Yeah, it's not a thing. It's not a thing. You know what I'm saying? She's going to answer for me. Them niggas like, oh, begging ass Grace Carter. 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 Begging ass Grace Thanks for staying late with us, guys. We want us guys to come and see y'all. We want y'all to interact and everything. Y'all were like really like. 
But we shout out to Jazz for calling. Yeah. Shout out to Grace for trying to call. Oh, Tristan came. Tristan came. We should have had Tristan call. Grace called the nigga. She did. Oh, that's what's going on. She called you out. That's what I believe, too. Because she called the nigga she be playing with too much. Right. She knows. I guess that shit, so I know. I'm in Miami. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't fucking nice. I'm gone, bro. I'm out. I'm a scammer. He's been fucked. I'm not in New York. But I'll be in Chicago tomorrow, you guys. You're all stars. You'll be in and out. Nah, that's what's up. Dang. Mm. <laughs> Thank you, Nicole. Thank you, Scott. Like, Tommy's, Tommy's in Dubai and the oh, service is oh, trash. Oh, so I'm sorry. Really? I want to try calling her one more time just to see if it's going to connect. And I think that it is. Yes! Yes! Oh, yes! Yeah. This is oh, my yeah, show, me, my sister. Oh, We're on the podcast. Say what's up to Brian. Yeah. On Brian's um, podcast, I'm on a podcast. I'm on a podcast right now. Um, she's in Dubai right now. She doesn't even care about us. I'm happy that we got her on the line. Hey, Brian, it says poor connection, but you're in the rich zone. What's up? It's reconnecting. Here, here she goes again. Here she goes again. Here she goes again. It's it's fucked up. She's in Dubai. But listen, she she we got her at least for a second. Right. I love that she answered. Um, I love you guys. Thank you for staying a little longer. I know you guys have other obligations. This was amazing. This was an experience. Yeah, it was fun. It was fun. Yeah. Jazz, you're the shit. Grace, you're the shit. I right. gave yourself a pat on the back because she you did. You did that. You are a good sport. Seriously. Yes, you were. Happy Valentine's Day to everyone in here, but especially the ladies. God bless you tonight, King. Yes. I, 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 I love you, Queen. I want you to stay home. She ain't going Don't. nowhere. I, no, no, no. She's not going anywhere. I'm talking about when I say home, that means not jail. Don't go to jail tonight, sis. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all that shit you was talking, sis. Don't go to jail at all. That's all I'm saying. She ain't going nowhere. She ain't going to beat that ass. 20 years. Oh, I love that. Everybody give them a round of applause. 20 years is a long time. Congratulations, y'all. I strive for that. Now that's real goals. That's not Instagram shit. Yeah. <laughs> nah, that's real talk. Thank you for having me, Brian. We about to get out of here. I'm going to suck some dick tonight. Oh, shit. Through the grace of God. Put oh, some holy water on that dick and get on it out of here. You feel me? I love you. Thank you for the champagne. Thank you, Brian. Oh, Everybody, I love you, and everybody under the sound of the Lord and I love you too. my voice that loves the Lord, say amen. 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 All right. Lord, thank you for bringing us here today. Thank you for this podcast. We all could be anywhere else today, but we are here together. Amen. You said we're two or more gather in your name okay. that it will be done. So we want to thank you first and foremost, and we want to secondly ask you for forgiveness for the things that we've done that are not of you, and the things that, that we've done that just that you that are not in the light of the Lord. Lord, we thank you so much for waking us up this morning and thank you for the happiness and thank you for the laughs that we had this thank evening. You, Lord, we just thank you so much 
for us being here with each other and just sharing the moments that we shared this evening. And thank you for the family members that we have out there. And God bless our enemies as well. Right. Peace, thanks, sure. and all things we ask in your name. Amen. 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 Amen.